Hello and welcome back to InnovativeX Idea Development Tips. My name is Daryl Gibson and I'm the founder of InnovativeX. Hi, I'm Don Dagan, business developer and manufacturing advisor with InnovativeX. You may recall that a prototype is simply a way to test your concept and answer the questions of fit, form, and function. In this tip, I'm going to explain how to build the right prototype at the right time for physical objects. Mm -hmm. So Don, in tip three, you discuss building prototypes in phases, better known as iterations. Why not just build one version of your prototype? With each iteration, you learn something new. As you build each stage, there are different agendas and goals. So there's different stages of prototypes? Yes, and there's many different technical terms to describe them. For our purposes, we'll simply refer to them as conceptual, beta, and pre-production prototype stages. Okay, so let's begin with the conceptual stage. What can you tell us about it? If we compare prototyping to writing a paper, this stage is like the outline before the first rough draft. The term I like is a mock-up. It's not a pretty looking object. Instead, the mock-up begins to define the function of the product, but color, final configuration, and aesthetics are not yet considered. However, this prototype should work like the final product. Okay, how do we know when to move on to the next stage? It's important to get a lot of feedback from those we think will be using it. This helps us with the development of our prototype. More importantly, it allows us to get to know our market and what they really want, need, and like. Mm -hmm. We should ask lots of questions and not take anything personally or be defensive. We should be sure to know our market and validate our idea before proceeding to the beta prototype stage. And what is the beta prototype stage? In this phase, we narrow our markets by refining the questions we're asking. For example, do children and adults need to be able to use it? Does it matter if the user is right or left-handed? Your prototypes will now begin to look like the final product. Mm -hmm. So let's assume that we've answered these kind of questions and we have a great feel for our market. Uh, we see strong validation for our ideas. Can you tell us about the next stage that we're calling the pre-production prototype? Sure. At this point, we've created 3D models and probably started breaking down the assembly into different parts. We have some idea of the manufacturing steps required and maybe an expected cost of materials, tooling, assembly, and packaging. If we've done the first two stages properly, this phase is simple and there's no need for radical changes. All right. Well, great. Thanks, Don, for sharing your knowledge about how to prototype physical objects. You're very welcome. And for everyone out there, please be sure to check out our other idea development tips on the InnovativeX channel. And thanks for watching. Take care. Go, my man. Are not yet configured. I lost it. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. I, I, I just was a little bit too slow on that. <laughs> I hope I had the recorder on. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks. The end. The end. <laughs> or is it?